Hello, YouTube community. My name is the Jackhammer13, and I am here for Insurrection. Not Resurrection, Insurrection. This is the second time I've had to do this, so I'm making sure that I pretty much do it the exact way I did it before. The reason why is because for some reason the audio cut out, and I wanted to make sure that I did this right. And instead of doing stupidly like what I did with episode 6, or the episode that should have been episode 6, um, I'm not going to say screw it and just say fuck, you know, just start over and whatever. I'm, I'm going to do this one again. So, uh, that was horrible. Um, great way to start the freaking video, Michael. Good job. Alright. So, as before, I knew that I had this match, and for some reason, it's now against Devon instead of Randy Orton. Oh well. I think the Hurricane's going to lose that match this time. And I'm facing William Regal in a regular singles match. However, it's not just any singles match. It's a singles match in Insurrection pay-per-view. Holy cow. What could that mean? Uh, basically, in case you guys don't know, um, or you haven't paid attention, Insurrection will take place in England, which they'll explain here, so I'll let them talk. Yeah, so, yeah, we're in London. And here is William Regal, the man himself. I tried to do a British accent the last time and it sucks, so I'm just going to say this regularly. It feels great to be back in, the, in my home country. I fucked it up already. Good job, Michael. It feels great to be back in my home country. There we go. Except the fact that I have to see all of your disgusting faces. So I found out today that there is someone foolish enough to challenge me. I do accept your challenge, Kidman. And by challenge, he means the challenge for the European Championship of Europe. Oh, hello! I am really looking forward to tonight's match. I'm a little reluctant to contaminate this sacred land with your sweat and tears, but I will be honored to provide victory for Her Royal Highness. What happens if you lose? Aren't you going to feel, like, really stupid that she just went through this entire thing to win, and then you get your ass kicked anyway? Time to go. How would you guys feel if you had to, you know, fight me um, in your hometown and you felt so sure that you, of yourself that you're gonna win? What the hell? Kurt Angle. It was Albert the last time, but this time it's Kurt Angle. What's he gonna say? Pretty much the same thing, I bet. Ah, I freaking hate these black TV screens sometimes. Ah, all right, here we go. Kidman, do you have something to say to me? A hard-working person like myself is very busy. I'm bored. You're good at kissing the owner's ass. <laughs> um, which one should I say? Let's go down to the bottom. <laughs> I like that one better. What did you say? Are you simply trying to? Are you trying to imply something? There's no simple in there, Michael. I'm a gold medalist. It's true. It's true. I'll do anything possible to win. Just because you're jealous of me doesn't give you the right to talk trash about me. I bet you I'm in a match with him now. Yeah! Extra minutes! This is gonna be great if I'm in a match with him. Because then I get. Nope, never mind. He's just a pussy. Alright, let's go back. And we're going into the dressing room. Or the locker room, whatever you want to call it. Now I highly doubt there's going to be anybody in here, in the stock room, in the boiler room, and on the other side of the frickin' arena. But we're going to check it just for the sake of it, because, you know, it's become a tradition on the Jackhammer 13's channel, on this channel, whatever you want to say, um, to just screw around and waste all of your time in the most meaningless ways possible, such as checking out the stock room, in which there's nothing but stock, ever, Checking out the boiler room, which no one would go into, ever. And checking out the other side of the freaking arena, in which, for the most part, there's not been anything of use over there, except for ticket scalping. So, let's see if I'm correct on this assumption. Nobody in the stock room. That's one of three. Now it's time to check out the boiler room. To the left, to the left. Everything I'm going to the better than the left. Uh, don't copyright me. Alright. It's still snow on the ground, but apparently it's supposed to go up to like 
40 degrees or something. So I'm guaranteeing the snow's gonna go away before we go back to school, which is gonna suck. I'm not because I, you know, want to miss more school or anything. I would never want to do that. No, it's just the fact that this entire winter break, it's been snowing, you know. So we wouldn't have had school anyway. The ice is the roads are too icy. Oh shit! I forgot. I can't go anywhere. Okay, well, sh we don't get to go check out the other thing. I was two for three, but because one of the things, you know, I couldn't check out, I'm technically two for two. And, you know, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and leave, go back the way we came, and just go straight to the match. It has been six minutes, roughly, and counting. So we're just going to go to the ring now. I doubt there's anything that Mr. McMahon wants to talk to me about. I think William Regal thinks I'm ready for a title shot match. Title shot, not a title shot match, that's just stupid. Alright, so the night begins with the Hurricane versus Devon. And I believe it's gonna be Devon in a landslide. I was correct. How am I so good at guessing these? I, sh I don't think I've missed a single one yet. Maybe it's because I'm psychic. Maybe it's Maybelline. So yeah, this is a European Championship match. Like I said, I've already done this, so I already know a little bit about it. It's, you know, not the best reaction you guys are going to get to see from me, but oh well. So wait, I can do an ultimate finishing move? Oh, that's right, I have to get the chair and I have to make me froggy, and it's, it's, a, it's a hard process. It's a fun process, you know, I love doing it, but it just it takes for a while. And the challenger, Billy Kidman. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, I did this in the last episode. So I feel that it's appropriate to do this episode. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, I bring to you the new and soon-to-be European Champion of Europe, Billy Kidman. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. You guys can finish it off. If you don't know it, uh, look up DX. You're more than likely to find it multiple times. Um, I did that for my friend who, shout out, James Petrera. Um, he kind of just, he makes a joke of WWE saying that almost everybody is a tool. And I was telling him about my favorite tag team, DX, and I told him that line. You know, I basically said it in almost that exact way. And he always gets a laugh at it. So if you're still watching James, because I know you watched a couple of my videos, you know, that one was for you. Oh, shit. Match, Michael. You can't just be talking this whole time. Alright. So, yeah, James Pacheco, you're welcome. I did that just for you. You actually sent me a message on, I think, episode 5. So, um, I decided to do this for you. And, I guess, in thanks for that message. The first comment I've ever gotten that's not for myself. And I did not get the pin off of that. Didn't think I would. I shouldn't have, at least. Flashback! I don't know if I said this in one of the episodes. It might have been the one that I just cut out, but that's becoming my like catchphrase. So if anybody who has like artistic ability, can you please draw me saying flashback and doing something? I don't I don't care what it is. I just want I just want flashback to be you know my profile pic. I think it'd be amazing. I think that was actually the last episode, not um, the one that I cut out. So whatever. And Billy Kidman with another frog splash. I don't know why Billy Kim is doing the frog splash, but he is. And I didn't get the win again. God dang it. Stay down. And jawbreaker. Okay, going up to the top. Get up. Get up, Billy. Well, I mean, get up, Will. Not Billy. Get up, William Regal. And the spear. All right, we're going to end it off of that. Let's go. One. Nope, not even a one count. Throw him off the ropes. Let's hope I can get this right this time. Oh, I did! I did it right! Holy cow. Alright, get off the ropes. Yeah, just punch him down. Perfect. And a spear I completely missed. No, you don't get to wave to your people. Choke him out! Alright. This match is gonna be fun. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. You guys are gonna love this match. Cross chop. Cross chop. And drop kick. Woo! I love these moves. How repetitive most of them are. 
This is actually becoming a pretty repetitive uh, game. I hope it doesn't stay like this for the next few episodes. I hope some of the things actually become somewhat enjoyable. I'm having fun with it. If you guys aren't having fun watching me, I apologize. Um, there's something I want to talk about. Uh, like I said with the, bat the baseball series, that's gone. You know, it's not going to happen for a little while if it happens anytime soon. You know, so I only have this one. But hopefully, I can think of something else um, that I'm going to be doing and do it. You know, because I don't want to have just one series because one series is boring. Multiple series, on the other hand, you know, that's where it's at. Having multiple series going at the same time, I did not reverse like I should have. And draw a breaker. So, I'm more than likely going to stay on the PlayStation uh, for now. I also figured out how to break up pins. It's R1. R1 seems to do a lot in this game. Anyway, DDT. It's actually, I know a way to get some sort of change. Do a brain buster. A brain buster. That works. Alright, going up to the top. And this will be the finishing move. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to stay on the uh, PlayStation for a while. I did get HDMI cables, and I can I can use those, because I do know how. So I could be playing Xbox soon. Um, I might do, like, an Assassin's Creed playthrough. I'm not sure if I want to do that just now. We might do that later on. Um, soon, I'll be coming out with what I'm going to be doing for the 100 subscribers, because I haven't moved a single peg. But I just want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to write down a list of all of that. I'm going to tell you guys about that. Probably in the update video, there will be episode number... Not episode. Um, number 12, whatever you want to call it. The 12th video on this channel. That's all that I have for you today. Um, the Hardys lost again. So they're not champions. Booker T and Goldust Star now be... Over on Raw, sadly. So I won't get a tag team championship shot, but I am European champion. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, thank you guys very much for your time. We'll, we'll, we will be back, rather, with May 2nd week. Thank you very much. I keep saying thank you because I do mean it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.